Hey everyone, in this video we're just going to take a look at creating a perfect circle quick and easy in Photoshop. So obviously if you try and draw it freehand you might end up with something like this where it's not going to be perfect. And the advantage of working digitally is that you have a lot more tools at your disposal. So I'm going to show two things. We're going to start up here and I'm going to right click on this square. This is the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to change it to the elliptical marquee tool. And I'm working on a new layer on the right hand side, not the background layer. So with that tool selected, you can quite literally just click and drag like so. But obviously your circle might not be perfect. So what we're going to do is when we're clicking and dragging, if you hold down shift, it automatically locks to a perfect circle. So I'm going to let go of that. You can see the selection there. I'm going to right click inside that circle. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit stroke down here. And think of this like your brush tool. So six would be the size of the line art, the size of the brush color self-explanatory and then the location do we want this to be on the inside of this dotted line the center or the outside I'm gonna stick with inside and just simply hit OK press Control and D to deselect and that is the easiest way to get line art for your circles so a quick example of what you might use this technique for um, some Family Guy characters I drew as Lord of the Rings characters the eyes on these I started with perfect circles if I'd have tried to do this freehand I would not have managed to do it at all so it can come in real handy for stuff like that. Another great way that you can use this same method is click on your elliptical tool again, click and drag your circle, right click in the middle, and this time instead of hitting stroke, we're gonna select fill. Pretty easy. The contents, we're just gonna select color, which will just bring up this palette for you to select a color. So I'll use that one for now. Hit OK, Control and D to deselect. So you can see there we've got a perfect circle that's already filled in. We could either keep that selection on or you can press this lock transparent pixels button here so that we can only paint within the lines. And this is really handy if you need a sphere in anything when it comes to digital painting. Assuming you want it to look pristine or perfect. A good example, what I see this used for a lot is lighting practice or maybe creating little texture balls to practice different textures with your painting techniques. This is a really good starting point. And although I've sped this up, just by using a soft brush, you can play around with different lighting effects within quite literally seconds. So that's it, guys. Just a quick, easy way to create circles in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see next. And as always, make sure that you subscribe and turn notifications on for more content. Thanks for watching, everyone.